Riley Cooper, the creative director from Need for Speed Heat. Hi, nice to meet you. It's Hi. very nice to be here with you. Yeah, thank you. Me too. Yeah. So you brought us like one of the hottest games of the show because oh, it's great. called Heat, right? That's right. It is. It's very hot. Yeah. Particularly when cops are chasing you at night. Yeah. You'll feel the heat. So it's a complete difference to being a, a car driver in Germany. But we'll go through the live uh, gameplay demo. Uh, you brought your colleague Mike. He's in the backstage playing the game. He is. He is. He's playing the game for us. He'll do a great job. Uh, and uh, yeah. So take us in the game. What is like the most important stuff we need to know about uh, Need for Speed Heat? Um, ich werde ihn gleich mal fragen, was ist das Wichtigste, was wir über Need for Speed Heat uh, wissen müssen? Im Hintergrund spielt Mike für uns. Wir werden durch das uh, live gameplay demo durchgehen. Und um, Riley wird uns ein bisschen durch die Demo durchführen und uh, sagen, was wir da sehen. So let's get it rolling. Cool, yeah, the, the biggest things about Need for Speed Heat are that we have this really uh, intriguing core loop around illicit street racing at night and mm -hmm. sanctioned racing by day, um, which I think players are going to love. But while we're looking at car customization, why don't we, why don't we talk about that? Ja, also wir fangen an mit der Car Customization. Äh, wie üblich bei Autorennspielen können wir natürlich hier auch alles äh, unserem Geschmack anpassen. Um, Car customization isn't like brand new to the Need for Speed series. So yeah. what's, what's the difference here in regard to the old Need for Speed? There's a couple of big differences. One big one, and Mike's already played with it a little bit, is we have different uh, settings for the base paint layer. So you can do carbon fiber and a few different variants. And we have uh, iridescent paints and different kinds of paint applications that give you different colors mm -hmm. uh, just as a base layer uh, that I think players are going to love. And then... Um, We also have car customization on your phone. So we have Need for Speed Heat Studio. Mm -hmm. It's available in most territories on iOS and everywhere in the world on Android, and it's available right now. Since yesterday. Since yeah. yesterday. Ja, gestern auf der ONL, auf der Opening Night Live, wurde angekündigt, dass eben Need for Speed Heat jetzt auch eine Mobile App hattet. Also äh, Riley sagt, es wird natürlich deutlich mehr Customization geben als äh, früher. Also immer mehr, immer schneller, immer höher, immer breiter. Aber der, der, das größte neue Feature ist eben, dass ihr auf dem Smartphone diese App runterladen könnt, die Begleit-App, und dort auch schon eure Autos designen kann. Ähm, ich werde ihn gleich mal fragen, wie wir aus das sein wird. Uh, so Riley, tell me, how, mu how much uh, of the game is in the, the smartphone app? Is it a complete setup or? It's, you can do all visual customization. So uh, the wrap editor and the visual customization of parts like Mike's doing right now, mm -hmm. you have that on your phone. We're releasing cars over a staggered timetable. I think there's eight available right now. Okay. And when the game launches, November 8th worldwide, you can push your designs to the game. Okay, so you can load up your designs and push it back to the game. Push it into the game, exactly. Okay. Also, ihr könnt in der Straßenbahn äh, eure Autos designen. Und natürlich nicht bei der Fahrt. Don't äh, design and drive. <lacht> so, only use it on the train. That's right? right. That's right. Aber ihr könnt eure eigenen Autos dann in der Straßenbahn designen, auf dem Smartphone hin und her laden. Natürlich auch in das Spiel. So, ja, um, yeah, let's continue with the demo. Sure. Um, so, right now, Mike is uh, tuning the exhaust. It's a new feature in Need for Speed. So, mm -hmm. it's one of the new customization options. You can make your car sound, you know, just how you like. Something that we won't see here, but is also present in Need for Speed, is the ability to uh, do engine swaps. Okay. And these increase your car's performance, and they also change the way it sounds. So you can really personalize your vehicle. Also, man kann selbst die Auspuffrohre kann man designen, die Geräusche, die das machen, und äh, ganz neu soll man auch die Motoren austauschen können. What happens if I crash my custom car? What happens with my customization? Um, your customization stays. There is visible car damage. Yeah. Um, And there is a health bar at night, so you do need to manage your car's health. Okay. Um, it makes it more risky, and you have to decide how much you want to push it every night. But if you go through, if you return to the garage or you drive through a gas station that's open get that repaired. night, you okay. get repaired. Also nachts wird man auch seine Customization Cars äh, verlieren können. Man wird natürlich auch Schaden nehmen können. Aber kennen wir auch von vorherigen Teilen, wenn man durch die Tankstelle fährt oder wieder in die Garage, dann wird wieder alles blitzblank gemacht. Um, now we're, we're looking at the Avatar Customization. Also die Persönlichkeiten, die hinter dem Lenkrad sitzen, werden natürlich auch anpassbar sein. Euer Avatar. Tell me something about that. Uh, how visible is that in the game? Because uh, as I imagine, the, the driver is always like behind the wheels, right? Um, yeah, the bulk of play is behind the wheel, um, but every time you're in the garage, which is one of your main stops, yeah. you will see your character, and you'll see your crew's characters um, positioned by their vehicles. You can see it faded out in the background now. 
So you will have many opportunities. And in our cutscenes with our narrative, you will see your character there as well. Okay, yeah. yeah. Also in den Cutscenes äh, wird es natürlich auch der Avatar dann so auftauchen, wie ihr den designt habt. Ich habe ihn gefragt, ob man den Avatar überhaupt äh, sieht, wenn der hauptsächlich hinterm Lenkrad sitzt. Aber in den äh, Zwischensequenzen von der Story wird natürlich eure Straßenklamotten dann auch auftauchen. Uh, some nice shoes we see over here. There are many options yeah. for, you know, shoes, pants, shirts, hats. It's fun. It's a yeah. lot of fun. Can I use the app for that as well? Uh, there's no character customization okay. in the app. Not yet. Not today. Not today. Okay. <laughs> also, keine character customization in the app. Um, um, yeah. Let's uh, see some driving action, I would say. Cool. Leave, leave garage. Leave the garage. We right on cue. Yeah. So there are two main race modes in, in the game, right? Tell me something about that. So there's, you know, the big split is day and night. Day events are sanctioned. Night events are, you know, traditional street racing. Yeah. Day events, there's no traffic, no cops. Mm -hmm. You're not breaking the rules. So you can really just focus on competition. Night, you are breaking the rules. Cops will come after you. Yes. Yeah, okay. And there are and there are uh, traffic. Okay. Also wir, wir springen jetzt auch direkt ins Gameplay rein. Es wird zwei verschiedene äh, Rennklassen geben, nämlich die Tagesklasse und die Nachtklasse. Am Tag werden wir sanctioned, also äh, uns den Straßenverkehrsordnungen, wie das auf Deutsch heißt, the German word Straßenverkehrsordnung. You have to remember that. <lacht> da werden wir uns einigermaßen an die äh, Rennstrecke halten und nachts wird natürlich weiterhin illegale Straßen Rennen geben, bei der dann eben auch der Schaden. So the, the, the day racing we see now, um, this typical racing is not on the street, it's no, uh, no traffic and stuff like that. During the day, races take place in a, in a, on a sanctioned route with this yeah. kind of set dressing. Um, and so you can't drive around in the open world and stuff like that? Not during the event, okay. but outside the events, it's a, it's a completely open world. Yeah. yeah. Is, is it in, like in the old games that you go to the to the racing events and then it starts? Um, yes. Okay. Yeah. Also wie früher auch, man wird natürlich die Stadt frei befahren können, äh, die Rennevents auswählen, aber sobald man in einem Rennevent drin ist, wird natürlich kein Straßenverkehr mehr sein äh, und man muss sich an die Rennregeln halten und das wird anders bei dem Nachtmodus, den wir gleich anschauen werden. Um, there's a different cars, different racing class. Tell me something about that, please. Uh, so in Payback, you bought cars as a specific type of vehicle. Mm -hmm. In Heat, you build your car to the type that you want. Okay. Our default handling is heroic. It's what you've come to expect with some variations that I'm excited for players to try. Mm -hmm. And then we also have extreme grip and extreme drift variants that will allow you to set the fastest race times and the highest drift scores, respectively. But can I, can I enter any race with any car? Yes. Okay, so I have to adjust myself to... I, I, is there like a preset I can select for... for uh, there's not presets, but you can build multiple cars. Okay. You can set them up specifically. And I can we, switch them on the race start. You can switch them at the race start, and you can actually switch your parts anywhere in the world. Okay. So we wanted to make it convenient for players. Yeah. Also man wird äh, sich selber die Rennautos zusammenbauen müssen für diese Rennklassen natürlich dann auch. Man kann aber, anders als bei vielen anderen Spielen, auch direkt mit jedem Auto jedes Rennen probieren. Man wird aber auch in der freien Welt außerhalb der Garage alle Teile austauschen können und natürlich auch mehrere äh, Builds in der Garage haben, um zwischen diesen verschiedenen Rennklassen hin und her zu spielen. Ja, um, yeah. tell me, is uh, Mike doing okay so far? Uh, Mike's doing pretty well. I can't quite see. He's in third place, so he's got one and two right in front of him. He definitely has a shot. Just took first. Um, but some of the things you can see is, you know, uh, we have day and night, and players can choose. But we have different looks for each day and different looks for each night. And we have dynamic weather, mm -hmm. um, so it can begin raining in the middle of a day. Here you see, you know, the roads haven't dried from a recent rain. So we get this reflection back into the surface of the road, the wet roads that players have, have loved in previous games. Yeah. Um, the location. Tell me something about the city. Where are we at? Uh, because the trailer looked very much like 80s flair, like my <laughs> Vice flair. Was that like something that uh, I can find in the game? Um, so our location is inspired by the kind of the entire southeastern U.S. Mm -hmm. So we picked spots that we felt like would be fun to drive in, either because of the character of the space 
or because of the nature of the roads. Um, so, and we do have a bit of an, an, an 80s vibe. But it's there. not set in the 80s. It's not set in the 80s. Okay. Yeah. Also, anders als der Trailer vermuten lässt, spielt das Spiel nicht in den 80er Jahren. Äh, auch wenn es so ein bisschen Miami Vice Flair in dem Trailer vermuten ließe, äh, es wird nicht in den 80er Jahren spielen. Also, wir spielen moderne Autos in einer modernen US-Stadt. Is it based on some US city? Um, so, you know, we take some inspiration from locations in Georgia yeah. and Florida. Those are probably the two dominant ones. Miami has a, a larger influence okay. than some so I'm locations. I'm not that far away with Miami. You're not far away. I think the one thing I just want to make clear to players, we're not trying to replicate anything. Yeah. We're taking inspiration and then crafting a world that we think is going to be the best to drive in. Okay, also es wird keine Originalstadt sein. Sie orientieren sich natürlich so ein bisschen an der Küste, an Miami und so weiter und so fort. Um, can you switch to, to the night mode during a race? No. It's not a during an mode. event. Yeah, not during an event. It's a totally different event. Okay, also wir yeah. sehen jetzt hier den Nachtmodus. Uh, man muss uh, nicht innerhalb der Rennen wird es kein Tag- und Nachtwechsel geben, weil eben diese zwei Welten sich auch so ein bisschen voneinander unterscheiden. Um, but you have to switch manually between day and night mode, right? You do, it's, it's your choice. So some events from day will take you to night um, or you can switch in the garage. And I think we allow you to switch to night anywhere in the world. Okay, and what happens at night? What is, what is the big difference? So at night, you know, everything you're doing is basically uh, breaking the law. Okay, it's, it's only illicit driving. Uh, free roam cops play a much larger role. There we have some cops on queue right mm -hmm. there. Um, and there is traffic in your events. They're not, you know, cordoned off. Yeah. So it's a much more dynamic, much more risky place to be. Um, and then you can see the heat meter at the top of the screen. He's already at heat three in this event. Uh, so that means the intensity is pretty high. It goes up two more steps to heat five. And the last thing I'll mention is you see his rep. So the heat acts as a multiplier okay. of the rep you've earned. All right. So you want, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to translate. Yeah. Yes, sorry. Um, also, die, die Nachtmodi werden sich äh, deutlich von denen unterscheiden am Tag. Äh, ihr habt schon gesehen hier in dem Gameplay, es wird auf jeden Fall Straßenverkehr geben, also Gegenverkehr. Und die Polizei wird euch auch auf den Fersen sein. Ein äh, Modus, auf den ich mich persönlich sehr freue, sind die Polizeirennen, dass sie tatsächlich auch Teil wieder dieses Rennen sind. Und dieser Heatmeter oben, ihr seht diese kleine Zahl in diesen, in diesen Flügeln. Je gefährlicher ihr fahrt, desto gefährlicher wird natürlich auch dieser Heatmeter, der gleichzeitig als äh, Multiplayer dient, um natürlich das entsprechende Score-Konto in die Höhe zu schnellen. Will there always be police on the street at the night races or will there be different type of races? Well, there's, they're always in the world, okay. but because it's systemic, you may have police, you may not. Okay. Yeah, but you can see them on the mini-map, so you can kind of manage it a little bit. Yeah. And you can always choose to bank the rep you've earned. <laughs> so if you don't want to go to the higher heats where you're more likely to encounter more yeah. intense police chases, that's a choice. Okay. So you can see the police on the map. And you can. Also man wird die Polizei auf der Minimap schon sehen, bevor man diese Straßenrennen startet und wird sich dann eben selber aussuchen können. Starte ich jetzt dieses Rennen, will ich viel Police haben oder suche ich mir vielleicht ein Event, wo weniger Polizeikräfte gerade unterwegs sind. Ähm, er meint, es wird relativ dynamisch sein, auch so gestaltet sein, dass nicht immer die Polizei dann auftaucht. Je nachdem, wie das Rennen dann auch verläuft, genauso wie bei den dynamischen Wettereffekten, wird dann eben auch die Polizei auf euch reagieren. Um, so... It's uh, the story campaign. It yeah. will be switching between day and night, uh, I, I bet. Absolutely. But it's like the same story. It's like one big... It point. is. That's, a, that's correct. Yeah, so uh, our narrative really is meant to uh, really uh, expand the experience of being in this location mm -hmm. and to help explain what's going on to the player. Um, I th I'm really excited for players to see it. It's much more grounded than things we've done recently. Um, and it's much more about the gameplay, and it features cops heavily, some okay. of our, our worst behaving policemen. Okay, but where, where do you start? Can you tell us something? This is my avatar, but how, how does the story, like, what is the so setting? The, the setting is, is, you know, really simple. We want to get players into it quickly. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're new in town, you've come for the Speedhunter Showdown, and you meet some people and they start to introduce you to the world. Okay. Yeah. Also die Story wird sich natürlich um diese ganzen Straßenrennen auch drehen. Man wird wahrscheinlich äh, sich äh, einen Ruf erarbeiten, genauso wie bei äh, ähnlichen Spielen. Äh, die Nacht- und Tagrennen werden beide vorkommen. Man muss natürlich auch so ein bisschen gucken, wo die Polizei ist. Die Polizei wird sehr eine sehr große Rolle spielen, auch in dieser Story. Genaueres äh, kann er uns aber dann noch nicht sagen. So, uh, we have to talk about microtransactions, because that's mm. always like a big topic on sure. uh, games from from this publisher especially. Mm. Um, can you tell us something about the microtransaction? Is there microtransaction? We do not have microtransactions. Okay, that's a good news. <laughs>
That's great. No loot boxes. Also keine Lootboxen, ihr habt es gehört, keine Microtransactions. Das Spiel wird ohne diese Fähigkeiten, ohne diese Features auskommen, was mich persönlich sehr freut. Um, police chases. Um, can you play the police? No. Um, you do not play the police in Need for Speed Heat. Yeah. yeah. I think that's an interesting opportunity, so don't be surprised if you see that. But, time, uh, yeah. but in Need for Speed Heat at launch, there's no playing as Okay, also in der Grundversion wird man die Polizei nicht spielen können. Wird sich dann noch ein bisschen unterscheiden von den vorherigen Need for Speeds. Aber zumindest sind sie wieder dabei. Ja. Uh, tell me something more. What what is Mike doing actually? So so Mike is prolonging this chase. Mike could, probably could have evaded these cops a little sooner because he's uh, yeah. so good at the game. Um, but he's giving us more chance to talk about it. Right there, you saw a little indication of a kill switch. It's a mechanic that c cops have. Yeah. If they're able to pull up near you and stay there for a little bit, they can activate this kill switch okay. and temporarily uh, take away power. power. Yes. Okay. Also die Polizei hat eine Spezialwaffe dabei. Sie können, wenn sie nah bei euch sind, euer Auto ausschalten. Äh, man sollte also versuchen, die Polizei möglichst fern von sich zu halten. Ich werde ihn jetzt mal fragen, ob die Rennen irgendwie vordefiniert sind, weil für mich sieht es so aus, als fährt er völlig frei durch die Stadt. So the races aren't uh, bordered, right? In the in the night. You in the can night, drive around the whole city. You can always in day or night. You can drive around the whole city. Our routes, our race routes, do have a, a yeah. checkpointed route. But this is not a race now. This is just. No, no. He's okay. just trying to get away from the cops. Um, or really, he's kind of toying well, that can with happen right in now. the open world as well. So he was just driving around, fooling around, and then the police. Yeah, and, that, and that's motion. another exactly, and that's another distinction between day and night. He finished this race. We didn't go to a transition. Okay. He just kept driving. Okay. So the cops that were on him during the race are the ones who are pursuing him now. Ah, alles klar. Yeah. Um, das Rennen war abgeschlossen, das habt ihr im Gameplay gesehen, aber es gibt dann keine Transition. Also nach dem Rennen ist dann nicht Schluss und die Polizei verschwindet einfach, sondern die Polizei ist euch natürlich weiter auf den Fersen und Mike, der das Spiel im Hintergrund bei uns spielt, versucht die gerade loszuwerden. Äh, relativ erfolglos. He's not very successful losing the cops, right? Or is that intentionally? You know, it's hard to tell. I'll have to ask him after we get off the stage, yeah. but Mike is a great driver, so... I think he's he's putting on a show for us. Yeah. How aggressive is the police? They will try to put down everything they can. Well, they will, and as you climb the higher heats, even more. So now he's yeah. at heat five. He was at a heat three at the beginning of the race. That was a rhino. Okay. That just took a big chunk of health uh, mm -hmm. off his health bar. You see in the bottom right. Um, there's a helicopter I can hear. Um, as long as a helicopter's on you, it's very difficult to end yeah. a chase. So yeah, it ramps up quite a bit. But uh, is there like a, a benefit from it escaping the police? Um, absolutely. So while in chases, your heat will rise mm -hmm. and heat acts as a multiplier. Okay, yeah. So you're, you're not wasting time in a cop chase. Yeah. And do you unlock stuff with that? or? You, well, the main thing is the multiplier, but you do unlock two important things. We have high heat events. Mm -hmm. They unlock at heat level three and heat level five. And in those, you can earn some of the best parts in the game. All right, perfect. Also, wenn ihr den Heat-Level relativ oben habt und die Polizei euch auf den Fersen ist, dann äh, kriegt der Bonus-Multiplier tatsächlich noch eine weitere Bedeutung, dass ihr eben auch äh, Spezial-Items freischalten könnt, die erst ab diesem Heat-Level erreichbar sind. Ähm, ihr habt gesehen, dieser Rhino, der versucht, dieses äh, Auto zu zerstören. What happens exactly when he, his car is destroyed? So all the customization, everything is gone? Uh, no, there a, a character in our narrative... Well, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> I'll say this. You keep your car, you lose your multiplier. Okay. So if you wreck, you're effectively busted. And then that heat five that he's been pushing and yeah. putting all... Oh, he just got kill switched, I think. Yeah. Or he's, or he's letting himself get busted. Let's see. I want to find yeah, out what happens. Oh, he's busted. That's yeah. it. That was a good long chase for us. Busted. So here you go. Here, he's answering our question for us. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So, so also, uh, it would have been a time. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Riley sagt, man verliert den Multiplayer, uh, Multiplier, nicht Multiplayer, Multiplier und uh, den Score Bonus. Aber er kann auch nicht ganz genau verraten, wie diese Mechanik funktioniert. Man wird auf jeden Fall das Auto irgendwie wiederherstellen können. Das habe ich zumindest rausgehört. Um, thank you for showing us Need for Speed Heat. It was Happy a very to. nice uh, gameplay demo. When is it coming out? Worldwide, November 8th. November 8th. Yeah. Also am 8. November kommt dieses Spiel raus. Need for Speed Heat, uh, ihr habt es hier gesehen. Wir haben eine Live-Gameplay-Demo gehabt. War sehr spannend. Thank you for stepping by and showing us the Thank game. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Mike, for playing the game for Thanks, us.